There's something for children of all ages at the Ringling Museum in Sarasota, but some new programs on Saturdays are a big hit with kids and their parents. Ringling's Christopher Troxka has the details. ROAR is an acronym that stands for Ringling Order of Arts Readers. But for the children who gather here every Saturday, all it means is a way to summon Reuben the Lion. The character of a lion, a, a shy lion that lives in the library and enjoys reading, is one that the children connect to. So we've actually had kids that don't talk to the adults here, the educators and librarians, they're a little shy. But when they see Reuben, they give Reuben a huge hug and they enjoy the craft all that much more. They're so busy in school, just going through the motions and learning what they need to know to graduate and take the tests, that sometimes teachers don't always have the opportunity to add in the bits about fine art or the humanities or music or anything like that. So having the program be free and available and it's there on the weekends during the school year and it's there during the summer. It's an opportunity to enhance what they're learning in school and make it so that everyone has the opportunity to get exposure to the arts. Just in the last few years there's been a huge effort to revitalize family programs here at the Ringling. So if they're asking questions about the works that we're seeing or something that we might have just talked about a few moments ago or making connections to something that they've talked about in school or something they've talked about at home or something they've even seen on TV, that I think is one of the most valuable things if they can make it relatable and and can express some of the connections that they've put together on their own. I actually had a parent come in and say you know, my daughter is very shy, so shy that she's not socializing when she's at school, and her teachers tell me that she's not speaking. Mm -hmm. So she came to Roar for a whole summer, and I remember at the end of the summer, and she hadn't spoken to me at all, she actually said something to me, and her mother said, that's the first time she's communicated with a teacher or an educator or a librarian. I will never forget that feeling of knowing that this was that moment for her, that she finally started talking. And now she talks to me all the time. That's what a museum is for, is, is celebrating physical objects, right? Museums house physical objects and they're, they're bringing attention to that, which I think can be lost in this day and age. Whether in the art library for Roar, or here in the Visitor's Pavilion with Family Workshops, there's enriching programming for children of all ages here at the Ringling. Christopher, thank you. Still to come on your...